Ha ha, you doing? It's the boy. Lately, this pretty sweet mod known as the Create Mod has been popping off in the community. It's a pretty cool looking mod. I swear, at this point, it's like every single day, I see at least a couple more comments telling me to check out the Create Mod. The final straw was the other night. I was watching YouTube and then none other than the king himself, Mumbo Jumbo's video popped up in my recommended. I watched like three minutes of it, instantly obsessed. I guess today's the day I kick off my brand new addiction. If you like the Create Mod and if you like the video, please consider leaving a like and remember to subscribe. All right, Advancement City right off the bat. So I'm going in basically entirely blind here. I saw like the first three minutes of Mumbo's video, so I know like a little bit, and then I watched the trailer. In the trailer for the mod, it takes you through like this cake factory that somebody built. It's like insane. It is really cool looking. So uh, if I installed everything correctly, this is what we have right here. We have this whole tab, and then we have this whole tab. If this is wrong, just let me know please and also warning if you're into technical stuff you're probably going to be very triggered by today because i have no clue about automation modding any of this stuff <laughs> okay so this is what we got right here we have all of these things this is like crazy now a bunch of these things are like machine pieces like like cart assembler and copper casing and creative fluid tank hold shift for summary there's a summary which is pretty sweet and then this thing too hold w to ponder check this out look at it it literally pops up like i don't know if this is normal for a mod but this is so cool looking and then there's other things down here that we could do like e uh <laughs> yeah i guess we could exit but yeah like look at it like we could look at this thing in 4k right here this is crazy i've never played this mod or really any automation mods in general I have no clue what I'm doing. So I saw like the first three minutes of Mumbo's video and then I had to stop myself because I was learning way too much. It is so interesting. It's so cool. So we're basically going in blind here, essentially, other than what Mumbo ruined for me. Thanks, Mumbo. Check this out. Beautiful looking block, I have to say. But look at this thing. This is crazy. It's a circle. It's a literal wheel. <laughs> like what? And then somehow, I'm, I'm not too sure, but somehow if we dump water on top of this thing or near this thing, it should start spinning somehow i i what i think uh has to happen is the water has to go like ab above it like like on top of it like like it pours over it so maybe if we put the water like right here oh yeah that's right that's what i'm talking about maybe do we need to fully support that and move that because that was blocking it so wh what about like right here is that gonna make that spin yet Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Okay, so new plan. How about this right here? This has to work, right? If I put the water right here, it's going to flow down. Oh, boy. That doesn't work either. What am I doing wrong? Back to the basics, gamers. Look at it. I figured it out. There's that giant wheel right there. And then, check this out. We're going to put water right here. Um... Okay, hold on. Okay, check this out. Water's gonna go right there. It's gonna spill everywhere because, of course, how about we contain it a little bit? Is that gonna contain it or is that gonna stop the whole wheel? I think that stopped the whole wheel. You thought I couldn't do it, right? You thought I couldn't do it this whole time. You've been screaming at me. Check it out. It works. It works. The wheel spins. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, and I have these goggles on, so I, like, get extra info. Uh, but also, more importantly, I look pretty sweet. Can't lie. The outfit game with the 350s and everything, it's really good with these goggles, too. I look great. Okay, so we have a spinning wheel successfully, which is amazing. We've done it. But watch this. We can get even more spinning wheels in here. Uh, somehow, if I were to put a spinning wheel... Okay, 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 okay. There's a way to do this. So with this, this is going to be like a huge learning curve. There are like so many different pieces here. But I think what we're looking for is the shaft item. We put the shaft right here. And then that's going to come out of this thing and spin. You see it's all like rotating, connecting the shaft like that. And then what we could do is actually put a big cog wheel right there. And then we can start controlling things and, and moving things. Because this wheel is spinning because flowing water. It's flowing like straight down into that hole right there. And, and then the wheel spins. And then we could use this wheel to spin against like other wheels, like smaller wheel. Maybe like uh, I think it has to go diagonal. Or actually, you know what? No, 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 no. We go big. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smaller wheel. Smaller wheel diagonal right there, you see? And it's like spinning. And then we could use this. We could do, like, more shafts off of this thing. And then we could put, like, another wheel. Maybe, like, over here. And look at that. That's three spinning wheels. Now, four, actually. Technically, four. Good point. Okay, so this is where I want to look at what we can do here and see what we can create. Like, crushing wheel. That sounds, like, crazy. Like, can we put... Look at this thing. We can put a crushing wheel right there. And then what happens if I walk into this thing in survival mode? That's what I want to find out. If I walk against this, um, nothing. Nothing. You can actually stand inside of the crushing wheel in survival, and you won't get crushed. Would you believe that? Okay, so this thing looks really cool. It's a clock. <laughs> Look at it. It's cuckoo clock. Okay. It's like a birdhouse. It's really cool looking. This thing most likely cannot spin, correct? Um, oh, 
Oh, what? 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 What is that? What is that? Okay, I'm sorry, goggles, my guy. You gotta go. What? It, it, it does something. <gasps> we have invented a clock? No way. This is crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe what we could do is put another big wheel in here. Uh, look, this is what I'm thinking. Um, it goes somewhere in here. Big wheel up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big wheel right there. Okay. Look at it. It's spinning. Okay, that's sweet. Now, what if we put another one? Oh, it's music. It's music to my ears. What if we put another one? Do you realize what you're witnessing right now? This is crazy. This is wild. Okay, so beautiful noise machine, but how about some other things in here? Because there are so many things. Like, we have mechanical belt right there in the trailer. There were like conveyor belts and everything. It was crazy. Deployer with a glove on it. How about this? Um, you, go away. Deployer? Oh, what is this? <laughs> Poke, place, and attack. Okay. Um, okay, nothing's happening. Huh. So, from what I understand, some of the stuff does actually interact with normal Minecraft Redstone. This thing actually almost looks like a piston with like a, like, yeah, like a hand on it. It's like a poker. But, uh, this one doesn't seem to work with Redstone. At least not like that. Doesn't seem to really do anything. It's broken. Oh, you could have it point up too. Look at this. Look at this. Actually, maybe it's not broken. Maybe I was just doing it wrong all along. <gasps> I was doing it wrong. I was doing it wrong. That's it. That's it. Look it. Look it. It's pointing down. I was doing it wrong all along. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. So here's what I'm thinking. I want to make this thing get a little bit taller, right? Uh, just like that. And then what we're going to do is place this thing facing up. No, no. How do I get it to face up? Uh, okay, there we go. We face it up. And look, it's like pointing up to the sky like the sun. Check the time. It's, it's, it's noon. Let's make things get a little bit more advanced now, though. So, check this out. Right here, we have a drill. We can actually use this thing to drill through blocks. I'd like to, maybe, th this might be a stretch, this, this might be a little bit much, but I'd like to try and use this drill to drill through these blocks. Like, could we make, like, a tunnel? Like, like maybe two drills stacked up on top of each other, uh, just like, like that, right there. And then we, like, drill right through there. I think we're gonna have to use minecarts to do it. Okay, so first things first, definitely minecart rail line going into the into the hill. Maybe maybe like that. I I'm not too sure. Maybe like that. We'll go with that. And actually, let's do it like this. We'll put like a bunch of powered rails in here so we get some like speed going into this mountain, and we'll start the rail line over here. So we'll try and go like around a turn if possible, and then go into the rocks and and at least dig one rock out. That's my goal. Okay, so now we're looking for something like a minecart. There's rails all over the place in here. Aha, aha. Okay, so look at this thing. Um, I don't know where it goes. Okay, um, never mind. Look at it right there. It looked like it would go on maybe this cart. It looks like I could put it maybe on one of these poles, though. Is this gonna work right here? No, doesn't work there either. And I've ruined my machine. Dang it. Oh, cart assembler. Place it on a rail block. Right there, right there. Cart assembler. There we go. Okay, we're on to something. That's all I have so far, though. How about... Cart assembler with that thing. Maybe like that. Like facing towards the cliff. <laughs> this does not look right. This doesn't look right at all. Okay, mm let's go for it. Trial number one. It does not work. How about these goggles? Do these goggles let me interact with this thing at all? Um, no, I can look at that, okay. So not really. Okay, so minor issue with the idea of drilling a tunnel. It might have been a little bit ambitious, because looking through here, I have absolutely no clue what I am looking at. Uh, look, it's a chair, that's cool, but I don't know. I don't know how to achieve this at all. Here's something cool though, look at this, it's a gigantic wheel, it's another gigantic wheel, and I, I think these green particles are saying something is being turned in there, which is pretty cool. But, uh, what I have found out is that the drill can actually go on this thing right here, so what if maybe we at least get a working drill that goes a little bit faster than this and then we put like a rock in front of it that would kind of count right okay so these clocks are beautiful but we're gonna have to take them out a little bit now to increase the speed i think what we want to do is actually change directions here right so if we have that and then we go over here is this going to go faster or is this all just going the same speed still um okay it's a big machine now i think it's all going the same speed but check this out. We don't even have to guess. We can put the speedometer right here and then look at it. 8 RPM right there. Okay, okay. And 8 RPM. <laughs> so it's all the same speed. Okay. It was an illusion. So let's check this out. We have wheel, wheel right there. Then what if we went over here and we did maybe another wheel this time. 
Okay, okay, check it out. I'm onto something here. We have we have wheels right here. Now, this one is going the other way, which I think is gonna help us. Yeah, yeah, 16 RPM. Okay, okay, that's exactly it. That's good, that's good. So, what if I just do this again like this? This is probably not the way to do this, but look at this. Uh, if we put that right there, that's gonna go even faster, right? Uh, no, no, that's 8 RPM. Okay, okay, well, we lost some speed. Hmm, how about this? We put that right there. How fast are you going? Are you going quick? 8 RPM. I keep losing all my speed. Okay, look, machine. I'm sorry. I break half of you over here. What are we at? 16 RPM right there. This is 8 RPM. Okay. If I were to say just attach that right there, that's going to go at 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be 16 right there. Okay, that's cool. Now, how about maybe like diagonally over here? Another small gear. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it right there. Look at this. It's going 32 RPM. That is dangerous. Look at the drill now. Oh, yes. Oh, yep. That's going to drill. That's going to drill for sure. Okay, but we could make it even faster. So, big wheel right there. Look at how fast that big wheel is going. That's a fast wheel. Now, if we go over here and place, uh, I think, a block right there. Okay, yeah. Clear out these. So, there's no problems. We put another small one. Oh, it's so quick. This is way too quick now. Look at this. This is going to go 64, 64 RPM. We can go even faster than that, though. I know we can. Look at that. It's going so quick. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is the wheel right here. This this pole. It, it was waiting for me. So look at that. Boom. Look at that. That's dangerous. These are, oh, overstressed. All right, I broke the machine. Too fast, too fast. Back one step. Okay, okay. Back two steps. Why does my machine not work? My machine doesn't work. All right, well, we have a working drill right there at a top speed, maxed out here, 32 RPM. That's pretty solid for one wheel machine. Maybe if we were to add like more wheels, we could go even quicker. Or if I were to keep this thing like closer to that, maybe. I'm not too sure if that's how that works. Let's drill through the rock though. All right, so rock right in front of here. Look at it, it's mining the rock. Look at it, look at it. Automation right there. Cobblestone generator, you set it up in front of this thing. You let this run. It's going to generate or, or mine the cobblestone for you over and over and over again. It is so cool. It is so awesome. How about here? Oh no, I broke the machine again. All right, picked up all of the rocks, which is great. But what I'd like to find out is oak. <gasps> we can drill through oak too. <gasps> oh, no way. How about obsidian? Obsidian? Oh, we could drill through obsidian too. It's going to be really slow, but it's definitely drilling through obsidian as well. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, okay. How about like like blackstone? We could easily set up like... like uh, oh, no, it's for basalt. Ne never mind. There's no blackstone generator, but still, it looks like we could drill through everything. Okay, the final big test here with the drill. Diamond ore. What happens if we mine through the diamond ore with this contraption? Oh! <gasps> Diamonds. Okay, so my machine is really, really cool, but I found a new tool. Uh, this thing. It's called the Deforester. A radiant axe able to chop down trees in a split second. So I think this is maybe going to be like you chop the tree and it falls, maybe? Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, basically. The, the whole tree literally just fell down. Oh, this is so cool. This is awesome. If I chop that right there, the whole tree falls, okay? Okay, what, what if I, like, chop it, like, right here? Um... Okay. Okay, everything breaks instantly from that point up. Oh, that is so cool. If you thought that's cool, though, that is definitely not all. Because down here at the bottom of the inventory, look at this thing. Handheld block zapper. Uh, extendo grip. Wand of symmetry. Handheld world shaper. What? 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 Shift right click for a shape. Oh, no way. No way. Okay, um, this shape. Okay, we're going to build it out of that block right there. What is it going to do? What is it doing? Um, I don't know what it's doing. I don't think it's doing anything, but it's cool. Wand of symmetry. Okay, okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? What, what is this? What is this thing? A mirror, but it's not real. Oh, that's so weird. Extendo grip. Can I grab that? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Can I, did I just reach over there? <gasps> I reach really far now. I reach really far. Oh, these things better watch out. Look at this thing. That's extendo grip for sure. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, one final test of the day. I may regret this, but I just need to see what happens. If I were to walk into the drill for some reason, what happens? Oh, okay, yep, to be expected, to be expected. My machine is dangerous. That that makes sense. The create mod, I, I don't even understand it, but it's so cool. And I think I'm definitely obsessed. Feeling pretty good about this machine too. All right, though, that's enough inventing for today. Create mod, what do you think? You want to see a part two? Leave a like on this video. 
Big thank you to my patrons, Mr. PD Wash, Hush Sound 34, and Glavers today. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Create Mod Pros, all I can say is, is watch out. You've seen what I'm capable of. Just watch out. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been me, your boy. I'll see you next time.